Hi, watch lovers. This is Anders here on Time and Crown channel. Today, a six month follow up long term review of my Longxin Master Collection watch. This is a 2022 model, the new green model in 40 millimeters. You can also find this watch in 42 millimeters and a lot of other colorways and also with a bracelet if you don't like the leather straps. I bought this watch completely new from a Danish dealer. I was just falling in love with the watch and I think it really covers a lot of bases in my personal watch collection. Not the least that I really always want to own a Longchin watch because I really respect and love this Swiss brand which is owned by Swatch Group. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it is a big help that you subscribe. Follow my channel on Instagram and Facebook. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. If you're Scandinavian, Danish, visit my website, my professional watch website timeandcrown.dk. So let's get into this watch. This is approximately 2200 US dollars. That's what I paid brand new. It has what we can call an in-house movement. It is only 39.8 millimeters in diameter. It is just 9.9 millimeters in thickness. It has a 46 millimeter lock to lock distance and a lock to lock here of 21 millimeters. Kind of annoying, but still you get a top quality leather strap. You see the watch is kind of a mixture between a sports and a dress watch. It is mostly a dress watch because you have the Roman numerals, the very simple dial with the date at 3 o'clock, not a lot of printing, the winged hourglass logo in silver you see here, you see the beautiful sunburst effect of the dial. It is very subdued but now here in the strong studio lights you see how it really just reflects without going completely crazy like a sports watch for example. In darker situations it becomes almost black. So I owned this watch for approximately six months and in this video I'm going to give you my pluses and minuses. You see you get the minute counter in the rehort and then you get these simple kind of dauphine style hands. You get no loom with this watch which is also why it's a dress watch. So really nice polishing, everything on the case is polished, again very much of a dress watch cue. Completely flat sapphire crystal, you also see here the AR treatment is pretty good. You see here now it becomes dark. You see here now it almost becomes kind of gray or black. The sign crown which is push pull. Turning the watch over we see the beautiful movement. This is a long shin. What we can call an in-house movement the L888. This is an in-house movement in the sense that long shin is owned by Swatch Group. Swatch Group they own ETA which is a movement manufacturer and ETA they make proprietary movements for Longxin, so they take some of the movements and then they modify them to Longxin's request. This movement beats at 25,200 vibrations per hour. It has 70 hours of power reserve. It's an automatic movement with ha hacking, manual winding and all of that. I get really nice accuracy, although this is not a chronometer certified watch. I get chronometer accuracy. You only get a very, very disappointing water resistance of 30 meters, so that's kind of Disappointing, although this is a dress style watch, I definitely would have wished that they just bumped it up to 50 meters. Looking at the movement here, you see really nice finishing, Geneva striping on the rotor, and then you get a really nice pelage on the bridges, and also some kind of knurling or spidering on the outside of the inner part of the movement. Really nice finishing at this price point in my opinion. This is crocodile leather, green, really soft. It just took a, a week or two to really break it in because it's of course thicker on the part closer to the watch. You see also it tapers. Really high quality long shin clasp. Close, close, and then you tuck in under here to push button release. So let's just put the watch on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist circumference and have a look at how it wears. And you see it wears perfectly on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist circumference. What Longxin did here was actually make normal and not extended long locks. They love to make these extended locks and they just make the watches just overhang a lot of wrists. So I don't know why they are always doing this. But with this watch, they made a very normal lock distance and it just wears really nicely. Although it is a dress style watch, it wears a little bit bigger. So it's not this super classic dress style watch and you also get the sporty kind of look with the rehort inside here with the numerals. 
You also see how slim it wears because it's only 9.9 millimeters thick. So what are my pluses and my minuses? So let's start with the minuses. I think of course it's a minus with the low water resistance. I think they should have done a better job with this. Also, although it is a classic look, I would have preferred a color matched date window. I think it's a little bit lazy that they didn't color match the date window. And I would probably also have preferred just to have the crown a little bit bigger, but it's not a problem winding the watch or anything like that. But it is a very small crown, which is of course also perfectly fine for a dress style watch. Soda Plus is, it's how it wears. It's the perfect do anything, go anywhere watch because you can just wear it in any occasion, just not in sporting occasions if there's any water involved, but it just is a perfect everyday watch. You can wear it as a dress watch, as an everyday watch, as a weekend watch, anything like that, because it just wears really nicely. Then the accuracy, really nice accuracy, really nice movement at this price point, and I think this is a top value watch. You can definitely pay double or maybe three times as much as you pay for this Longchin Master Collection watch here and you won't even get the same quality. So I think Longchin, they are doing a really good job of just providing top quality at a really competitive price. And then I just must say it's kind of its own. It's just its own kind of, of look. So I really just enjoy having this watch in my collection, which is a watch every month I wear for maybe three or four days. And that's pretty good for a collection of approximately 20 watches or 16 watches I have in my collection. So all in all, I'm still very happy with my purchase. I don't regret it. But it's of course a choice you have to make. Do you want to spend this much on one watch or do you want to buy several watches? If you want to buy several watches, I can definitely recommend this as your everyday or even your dress style watch. So I hope you enjoyed this follow up review of my Longchin Master Collection, the 2022 olive green model. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you're Danish or Scandinavian, don't forget to visit my website, timeandcrown.dk. You will find the link down in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.